friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick video on, based upon few comments and DMs that I got on my pen videos on Instagram. Um, if you are a brand new starter, if you're a beginner's um, in the fountain pen world, what are some of the options you can explore? Um, don't get too scared about all of the pens. I only actually have um, seven pens in recommendation. I just have some repeats because I have a I have a story to tell you guys um, in regards to the different pens, especially the Pereiras. As you can see, there's so many of them. So let's just kind of run through it. Pilot Kakuno, which is this one. Oops, sorry. Pilot Kakuno. This one is twelve fifty. Um, Pilot Kakuno is Snap. It takes Con Forty, which is additional six dollars. Overall weight for this is eleven grams, and just the body is seven grams. Um, then comes Twisby Go, eighteen ninety nine. It is overall seventeen grams. Body is twelve grams. Pilot Metropolitan, eighteen ninety nine. And um, it is the heaviest pen, I think, after, um, no, not after, it's heavy. It's heavier than even Eco. It's 26 grams overall and 17 grams body. Takes Con 40, um, has con cartridges. So if you're intimidated with ink bottles, it comes in cartridges. So you can just plug it in and, and use it. Coveco is the smallest pen. You'll have to switch out inks fairly often. It is um, um, $27.00. It is 10 grams, the lightest pen, and 6 grams for the body. It takes converter, um, takes cartridges, international cartridges also, which is a good thing about this because I have lots of them laying around, which works really well. Then comes uh, Lamy Safari, um, 2960. If you get it from Amazon, it's a little cheaper. Um, takes Converters, cartridges, whole nine yards. Overall body is 17 grams and just the body is 10 grams, which is very light and really, really good ergonomically. If you don't have, if you've never touched a fountain pen, if you want to learn how to hold it, Lamy Safari is way to go. Twisby Eco is my favorite. Um, $30.99, um, 21 grams overall and 13 grams only takes ink, does not take cartridges. Pilot Pereiras, all of them. Um, this one is $33 and this one is $56. All of them take Con 40. Um, all of them take Pilot uh, proprietary cartridges. Um, overall body for Pereira is 15 grams and just the body is 7 grams, which is almost the same weight as the Kuwaiko, basically. I want to start with the fact on uh, my personal journey on fountain pens. Um, I actually got my first fountain pen, which is the Lamy Safari from Spain. Uh, from a, a cute little pen boutique store when we were walking down in Barcelona. And um, I just loved, I was really, really into white color things at a time. Um, so I basically got this and I got a few cartridges because um, the ink bottles were definitely intimidating to me. When I got the pen, I did not get it in, um, in the black... Um, I did not get it in, in, in this black nib. However, I got it in this steel nib. But it was, it was very rough for me. I was expecting really, really smooth pens. So I was, I came across the, the video by Pen Habit, uh, Matt, or I think his name's Matt. I don't know, his channel is Matt, the Pen Habit. He does not do videos anymore. However, he has amazing YouTube videos on pens and suggestions. So he suggested that I buy the um, the black metal, um, I don't know what it's called, I'll, I'll link it below, but it's a black, um, black nib basically. They're basically black and I got the black nibs, the replacement nibs, both from Goulet. Um, and I have been very happy. The other reason why, if you're a first time beginners, the reason, the reason why you should, um, invest in Lamy's is because if you don't, if you've never held a pen, 
Um, Lamy has these ridges that helps you um, helps you like hold on to the pen and it teaches you how to hold the fountain pens. Um, I got the charcoal because I was I, I have really sweaty hands, um, and someone told me that the charcoal the the matte finish really is has a good grip and it's very true. Whoever wrote that on the forums, it's so true. For people who have sweaty hands, um, the black charcoal matte is like the best pen you can buy because it just it has a good grip. And of course, I just have to tell you that if you really, really want buttery smooth, smooth nibs, you will have to invest in these um, replacement nibs if they don't already come with it. So yeah, this was uh, Lamy Safari um, was the white one was my first pen. Um, and then the, my second pen was Metropolitan. It's something Boho Berry talked about a lot. It's something that Goulet's talked about a lot. So I went ahead and invested in it. And the only thing is that the ink runs out really fast in, in this pen. It has this like weird converter, but the weird converter um, basically has a good capacity um, of the good capacity, which we'll talk about in a little bit uh, later in the video. So basically, um, I, I, in 2000 and whatever, 16, 17, I started out with these two pens and then charcoal um, came in my collection. And then I had three pens for a very long time, until 2020, basically. All of these other pens that you saw, um, you're looking at, who are all bought them in, in 2020, after the 2020 um, Philly pen show, basically. So let's just go through them. Pilot Kakuno. Pilot Kakuno was specially bought because I was very much into Noodler's Base Date. And I heard that if you want to buy Noodler's Base Date, you really need to dedicate ke dedicate a pen, um, pen to the ink. So again, what I like about this Pilot Kakuno is basically $12.50, very affordable size. It's a snap. So it's not a twist off, it's just you twist, you just snap back and snap back in. Um, this pen does really well with the base tape blue. The second in line is Twisby Go, which is $18.99. Again, snap back, it has this really cool um, push in, push out um, filling mechanism. You cannot use cartridge in this. This has to go with the ink bottles. So if you're brand new and intimidated by ink bottles, I would suggest sticking to all of the other pens except Twisby because they will take cartridges um, and they will take converters. This is Con 40, which is a $6 additional to $12.50. So you kind of have to do the add-on math. Um, that's how much it will cost and then of course, if you buy a converter, you need ink, and if you buy cartridge, oh my god, I just got ink all over me. Um, um, if you buy the cartridge, then it's added, added, added a little bit of money too on top of it. Um, so Palette Kakuno is basically um, overall 11 grams, and the body is 7 grams if you don't post it. Not sure if it matters to you. Um, it it I have very small hands, so it fits very well in my hands. Um, I don't I don't see any problems with the Kakuno. I also love the fact that there is a smiley face. Let me show you. There's a quick smiley face on it. Not sure if you can see it, but see the little smiley face? Makes me happy all the time. So that's Pilot Kakuno for you. And then Twisby Go is $18.99. Um, 21 grams overall and the body is only 13 grams and it fits pretty nicely without posting on my hand but you can also post it and it becomes really really tall. So Twisby Goes are very easy to use on daily basis. The next is um, Pilot Metropolitan. It is $18.99. If you notice I'm going in the like how expensive it is, how cheap it is and how expensive it is. Um, so Pilot Metropolitan is quite on the heavier side, in my opinion. It's 26 grams, and just the body is um, 13, 17 grams. Um, again, it takes, um, it comes with this uh, converter, but you can also get Con 40. Um, it fits perfectly in it, and it's additional six dollars. It also has, it comes with all these Pilot cartridges. They're also very basic colors and works really well. 
this one, I actually really think that Kaweco Sport is like the cutest pen someone can get. The only thing I don't like about this is it's twisty, but look at this beautiful small nib. So Kaweco Sport is known as a pocket pen. It's so cute. It's so small. It's the smallest one. It is $27. The converter is additional $6. The ink capacity for that is only 0.67. Um, and then cartridge international is 0.97. It's very small, runs out very easily. I can write like barely 10 to 15 pages and it's out, basically. Um, 10 grams, the body's only six, but I definitely have to post it. I can't write without posting it, so uh, it does take a full 10 grams. And then um, the next one is Metropolitan, I mean, uh, Lamy Safaris. Lamy Safaris can go anywhere from $17 to $29, depending on where you're buying it from. The entire body is 17 grams, and um, the body itself without the cap is only 10 grams. The converter for this is $6. It also comes with cartridges for added uh, money, so you have to do... Um, like add up the math because it's not going to be the base. The base price for the model is twenty nine sixty basically. And then also I bought the nibs too, so it ended up being a forty dollar pen for me. Now on to the the beautiful Tusby Ecos. I wish, I wish that I was comfortable enough with the ink bottles, and I wish someone introduced me to Tusby Ecos because I think it's like the most friendly. Um, you don't have to clean it that often. The ink capacity is crazy good. Um, it's 1.76. It's like better than anyone else that I know of. Um, especially if you're constantly writing and you don't, you hate like re-inking your pens. Twisby Ecos are the way to go. Twisby Ecos for me, they're $30.99. $30 These two pens were my first Ecos and I got this one from Lemure Ink. And he's the one who kind of like broke our fear of the ink bottles. So he's responsible for all of our ink bottle purchases because he taught us how to do that. Um, which is lovely. Like, lovely. I, I just, I absolutely love um, Eco Twisby. Um, it's a great pen, everyday pen. I use this every day for my passion plan. I would not go back. Not go back. And then... I, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna take a little bit of time talking about Pilot Pereira. The Pilot Pereira that are, you see that are um, bodies that are opaque bodies. I think they were only thirty three dollars from Jet's Pen. However, the the clear body is fifty six dollars. So it's a steep price. Um, so let's just move them here because this is thirty three and this is fifty six dollars. I don't know why they're fifty six, but they're beautiful pens. I, I genuinely love them. Um, I think the, these are these are beautiful, beautiful nibs. They're very light. Pilot Pereira overall body is 15 grams, and without posting, it's only seven grams. Um, Con 40 fits in perfectly, really, really well in here, um, and the ink capacity is 0.6, um, 1.7. 1.7 is for the cartridge and 0 0.84 in the converter. And it's a beautiful pen. Honestly, like you can't go wrong with it. Um, I used to, when I used to go to the office, I used to take this. Um, this one would have Noodler's um, X Feather and this one would have uh, Noodler's Blue. And it, it did really well. It did really well for me. It's such an easy carry. Um, yes. The ink capacity is smaller than obviously Eco, so you'd have to re-ink it a couple times. So honestly, there's a story be behind this. The reason why I really got this is because I really honestly wanted the Platinum 3776, but this was very expensive. This was like, how much was this? Um, this was, I think, $176 or $160 from the Nitsmith. So I was like, okay, I don't deserve gold um, nibs pen right now. So I'm just gonna, you know, it was only 33 bucks, so why not? And it's, I love the fact that it's not twist off. It's like, it's a magnetic, so let's just hear it. It's very satisfying. It's very easy. 
Um, I've used it a couple times and it's just, it's a light writer. It just, it's really, it's really good. I haven't used a couple of the Pilot Pereiras because um, I like to gift people pens. So hopefully one of the lucky friends, whoever's into fountain pens or shows interest, I might gift them an entire package. So ultimately, this is it. Like, if you, I just wanted to kind of give you some facts. If you, I don't know if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, like I do, or if you like heavy pens, light pens. So I wanted to give you all of the weights. So I hope you uh, found this video useful and hopefully this will help you make a decision for your first fountain pens. I've gave you plenty of different options to choose from. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below or DM me on Instagram at Courageous Creator. If you want to see sampling of all of these pens, I'll be doing one video per day on my um, Instagram video. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!